What's up guys, uh, doing another video on a 2013 Cadillac ATS and um, today it's very simple. I'm just doing an oil change. Um, the most common thing and the most uh, repetitive thing you do in your car is an oil change. And just so you know, I do my oil change every 3,000 miles. It's recommended at five, but I do it every three. I've always done it with all my cars. I've always had good results with uh, my engine life. Um, so this is my 2013 Cadillac ATS. And first of all, what you want to see is that your oil that it consumes is a 5W20. And what I like to use is preferably Mobile One. I always get it at Walmart. It's always the cheapest price there. So Walmart, I always get the extended performance um, it's about 15,000 miles of guaranteed protection. So that's way more than enough for what I change it, uh, the lifespan on mine. But anyways, just to get started, you're always gonna want to uh, take off your cap. That way they drain it just real fast. Now my car is already on, on uh, stands and we wanna put the stands on. It's just to ride where this hinge is at, and there's a small spot underneath it that you can see where it goes, and that's right there. Now, to jack up the car itself, I have this uh, low profile uh, Daytona three ton jack that I got, and that jack is going to go right here, right in the center of the vehicle. That's where your, that's where your point's at to jack up the, the vehicle, and then you have obviously your one on your right side of your vehicle. Now, like I said, I already started uh, doing my oil change. I always tend to do this. I always just like to get on with my my work. Today is gonna be 111 here where I live, so I thought I'd start early. And that is your drain plug right there. So that's your pan, that's your drain plug. You're gonna open that up, always have, you know, obviously, something underneath it. Looks like I made a mess here already. It leaked a little bit, but it's all good. Just wipe it down, clean it with some brake cleaner. Um, and now your oil filter. <coughs> Let me get under here. Your oil filter is right here. So this is where your oil filter goes. You gotta wipe down the rim, clean off all this little bit of stuff that's stuck on it. Let's focus this on here. So all this little rim comes off. So. You want to clean that off good and before you put your new one put your new one in so now for my for this vehicle um, I use Canon um, oil filters I've always have like I said I always stick to what I know and always quality quality is what you're always gonna want because that's what's gonna always save your your engine if you're doing the oil changes on time, or like me, I always do them way before it needs to, but like I said, it's what works for me. So again, um, that's how you start. I am gonna start uh, putting on the rest of the stuff, but uh, that's pretty much it. That's, that's the simple steps that you need to do. Like I said, unplug, put your car on jack stands, like I showed you. I already showed you the jack point in the center of the vehicle and um, you're gonna want to remove that drain plug underneath remove the oil filter and put everything back in so you're gonna start with your oil filter and let me see where I have this oil filter here I can show you guys what brand they have that's what I said got it at Walmart always do a change of Lucas or always install or add to your gas that Lucas I always do it every, every once a month at least so this is a K&N that fits to this uh, vehicle in particular this is a 2013 ATS um, Cadillac so the HP 1017 is what you want and these are like cross references that also you can see sometimes it shows in the back like i said there's a barcode here you can always scan that and see if it fits your vehicle um, but yeah that's what i use so i'm going to put this in next um 
and then I redo my my drain plug. And let me see if I could do this one hand. Now this uh, oil filter does not need to be super um, tight. It's just gonna be hand tight. Um, you don't want to over tighten it. You don't want to cross tread your the um, the bottom of it or the inside of this filter right here on the edge. See those treads there? You don't want to <laughs> cross tread those at all. So you want to do hand tying first. This it does have an um, uh, a wrench um, fitting in the back, so you could tighten it down with the wrench. I never have. I never used it. Um, I always hand tie in as much as I can, but I don't want to use uh, tools where I'm going to get leverage and cross thread those threads. It's something I've always been afraid of. I know it's going to be expensive if you have to change that out. So um, I always just hand tie in. Always been fine. It's never had an issue. So I'm going to put this in next. Uh, then I'll do the oil. And that should be it, guys. That's not very much to it. If you do have any questions, I... Uh, I have no problem responding. I'm pretty good about that. I'll, I'll respond within the 10, 10 to half an hour if I see the, the notification come in. I'm pretty good with responding with the questions. Uh, so uh, this is the video I'm doing today. Um, I am gonna do a cabin air filter, uh, I think today as well. I already have the part and um, actually I can show it to you now. And that'll be in the next video that I'll post today. So this is the, the cabin air filter uh, that you wanna use. And that'll be another video. But um, yep, that's it. That's the oil change for a Cadillac ATS. Nothing to it. Just uh, save yourself some money and uh, get the, the things you need. Um, as far as the prices go, I got the oil um, for, I believe 24 bucks. And then this filter, this filter runs a little bit expensive. It depends where you get it. It could be from 12 to 15 bucks. But like I said, quality guys, quality. Quality is what's gonna save your engine. So take care of it. These things are not cheap, especially Cadillac. They always run everything super expensive. And I think you guys all know that, the ones that own it. So um, yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate in uh, asking. Comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I know a lot of people are having some issues with this vehicle and and I'm kind of working with them on some parts. Uh, so like I said, welcome to have uh, any comments down in the below and ask whatever you like. Uh, sometimes even if it doesn't reference the video, sometimes I'll make a video in regards to whatever uh, you guys are having issues with and I could guide you guys through it as much as I can. So thank you guys and uh, good luck and uh, always be safe.